Hello, thank you for, uh, well, uh, I should say thank you for joining us today and welcome. My name is Stephen Primo and this is going to be an educational presentation where I want to be talking about my premier pullback strategy in action. This is a relatively new method that we have for all of our students, specialist trading and pro trader strategies. And the reason why we really, uh, you know, outline and underscore the word pullback is because it's, it's a different style of trading. If you're a pullback trader, what you like to do is purchase a stock, a future, a currency pair at lower prices. And if you're going short, what you want to do is to sell or go short at higher prices. Now, the only trouble is a lot of students have difficulty with this type of method. For example, let me share what I mean here by looking at this chart in PG. Now, this is why I feel most traders fail because they really should be buying when, uh, you know, in all actuality, they're selling and they should be selling when they're actually buying. For example, as we look at this, a student would look and say, well, Steve, I'm a student of candlestick patterns and this is a bearish engulfing pattern. So that means that that's signaling some type of a top or a beginning of a downtrend. So if a downtrend is pl in place, I'm either going to be on the sidelines or I'm going to look to short. But with the method I'm going to be sharing with you today, this actually would have generated a buy signal here and another one right here just days before a nine point gain. So you see where everyone else was selling, the pullback buyer was buying. Uh, vice versa, we can also look at this example in the Dow. This is an older example going back to May. Someone looking at this would say, well, we're in a clear cut uptrend. This is where support came into the market right here. All the buyers came in, the institutions. So it looks like we're going much, much higher. So I want to be a buyer. We're probably going to go back up to these old highs. All the economic news is great. But with the method, once again, I'm going to be talking about today, we would have actually generated a sell signal right here towards the upper range of that little bounce, and you would have seen the market fall nearly 500 points in the next four days, okay? And you're also gonna see how simple it is to implement this strategy using our new PTS Primo charting platform. This is the platform that actually teaches you how to trade pullbacks. So welcome, once again, my name is Stephen Primo, president and founder of Specialist Trading. And if you're new to my webinars, we only have one goal in mind, and that is simply to educate you as a trader. Now, sure, we have lots of different techniques and methods and strategies, but what we're really trying to do is educate you with things that have stood the test of time. You see, it's my opinion, the reason why most traders fail is because we've all been taught these traditional things that are supposed to work in terms of consistency, but they really don't. And the reason why I can say that is because I've been trading for over four decades now, 42 years to be exact, and in my 42 years, I've traded straight up markets, straight down markets, sideways markets. I've traded just about every system or method you can think of. I started my career on the floor of the stock exchange. So that's where I was able to get involved with all these different things. And while I was on the floor, I was making markets and trading all of these different styles and methods and techniques in different types of environments. So in my 42 years of experience, I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. So. That's the gap we fill. That's the service we provide. You no longer have to spend your hard-earned time and most especially your hard-earned money searching for that method that has a high level of consistency because this is what we teach. We only teach and trade things that we have used ourselves in the past. And these are methods that have high levels of consistency. So we're an educational company. First and foremost, as you'll see today, this is an educational presentation. And as with all presentations, before we begin, we're first required by law to share this with you. We have to show you our disclaimer. So please take a moment to view it. I'm going to share with you a lot of performance results trading with this strategy, strategy number nine. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And also please remember that all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. And as you're taking a brief moment to view our required disclaimer, I would also like to take this time to invite you to follow us on Twitter. I know a lot of you are currently following us, but for those of you who aren't, there's a lot of great free information I post on a daily basis, anywhere from signals our strategies have generated to little bits of financial wisdom. So lots of great free education. Feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, as I stated in the opening statements, we're a little bit different from other webinars you may have attended in that our only goal is simply to educate you. And what I want to do is educate you with the same edge, the same uh, style that was taught to me some 42 years. Because when I first started trading 42 years ago, I struggled probably the way many of you are struggling right now. And it was because I was using the exact same things many of you are probably using right now as well. 
uh, you know, focusing on what the earnings are, focusing on volume, looking at overbought, oversold, looking at uh, the wrong way to trade uh, candlesticks, just everything you think of, Fibonacci, uh, you know, the institutions. I did all of those things and used all of those styles roughly four decades ago, and I couldn't really have any consistency or show a profit with any of them. I was lucky enough to have some mentors who instilled the specialist edge in me. And they taught me a lot of great things, not only strategies, but also different insights into the market. And that's what I want to share with you today. So I want to start a new little feature here I call Daily Financial Wisdom. And this is what's going to be the theme behind today's presentation, because what my mentors taught me some four decades ago still rings true. And that is one should never sell a stock simply because it appears overbought nor should you buy a stock simply because it appears oversold. Now, when we say overbought, oversold, we're not talking about some indicator. I mean, it could be some indicator, but there are a lot of other things that people use to buy when they think something is too low, either they've come to some support level or some uh, Fibonacci level, uh, support and resistance level, or maybe uh, you know some trading guru was telling you this is too high, you have to sell it. Or perhaps uh, you're, you've got tons of indicators, maybe something you put together, or maybe some strategy that uh, buys uh, at the very bottom and sells at the very top, okay? Remember, there are lots of things that tell you when the market is overbought or oversold, but they're not based on what the market is telling you. So this is what this strategy does today. It bases it off of what the market is telling you and not uh, you know, telling you that something is oversold uh, or overbought because it appears to be, or because some high convolutant indicator told you it was. So this is one of the first thing my mentors taught me, and it still rings true today. Stocks can go as high as they want to, or they can go as low as they want to. They can go down to zero. I mean, Enron or, uh, went down to zero. There's lots of stocks that have just gone under. So you never want to stand in the way of a speeding train. That's the way I'm sure you've seen that in today's action with the market going straight down, okay? All right, so let's begin today's presentation. And one last thing before we begin, uh, if you have questions, please wait till the end of today's class because I have a lot of slides to share with you and I don't want to stop at every slide to ask a question because if we do, we may be here far too long. I know it's an interesting day today in the markets. Uh, the one question I will answer is the most common and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you uh, have to leave early or have uh, technical problems, we will send each and every one of you a link to this recording. All right, with that stated, let's begin today's class. And we're gonna be talking about strategy number nine. That is our premier and very new pullback strategy. When we say new, uh, I mean, you know, most of the strategies we teach and trade, I've been trading for a good, you know, 20, uh, 30 years, but this is something that was just formulated in the last couple of years based off of the same premises I was taught. And so it's only gone public since January of this year. So not even eight months altogether. It's a proprietary pullback method, and it can be applied to any market, any time frame, and any direction. So don't we wor be worried if you see the majority of the examples are in stocks today, because I'll share with you a few examples in futures, currency pairs, uh, even commodities as well. Now, one of the great things about this is because you're buying lower, you can apply this to option trading. So if you're an option trader, this is a great uh, strategy to trade with because one of the problems with our strategies and options, if they're based off of trend following, many times you'll have to pay higher once a signal has been generated, and that means higher premium cost for the option, okay? So this is great because you'll be buying at lower prices, therefore the option uh, that you're looking to purchase may be at a lesser price, or you'll be selling at higher prices. Same thing if you're try trying to buy puts, okay? But with all of our methods, regardless of how you choose to trade them, whether it's actually buying the stock or buying a call or however you want to do it, we always require that all students paper trade first, okay? So if you become a student of mine, you always have to paper trade. Our edge here is consistency. Consistency means that there will be losses from time to time. In fact, I'm going to share with you a few losses, but show you how quickly they recovered and you were able to recoup those losses, okay? That's what you want in a trading method. You don't want to find a method that has a fantastic year and then you go back and research and see that that's the only good year it's had in the last four or five years, all right? You don't want a method that is like a roller coaster that goes straight up with your P&L and then straight back down where you lose everything and then straight back up. Over time, you'll see that it's 
tremendously difficult to trade methods like that, and you won't have anything to show for it after a number of years. What you want is something that's very consistent, very smooth, and has a nice smooth upward slope in your profit and loss statement, okay? All right, so let's talk about some of this highlights of strategy number nine. It employs two simple indicators. Now, their relationship to the price of whatever you're trading automatically produces the signals, okay? Now, in an overall uptrend, buy signals will be generated during a decline. In an overall downtrend, the sell signals will be generated during a rally. So that's the definition of a pullback trade. For example, if we look at this generic chart here and you're a pullback buyer, what you want to do is look for some overall uptrend to take place. Now, rather than just buy at the market the way some traders would, you wait for this type of bracket here, this kind of V shape, all right? This is the pullback in action. Because usually what happens after this consolidation is that the trend takes off, all right? Rather than wait to buy once it takes off, which is, you know, uh, perfectly admissible, that's a different style of trading, but pullback traders like to buy at lower prices on this dip. So a pullback buy would happen somewhere around here. If all the requirements are met, you would be purchasing at lower prices. This is why we say it's perfectly uh, you know, suited for option trading because if price is going lower, you're gonna see the price of the options go lower and then uh, you'll be able to have uh, you know, a nice trade if it works out. Now, the same thing can be happening in a sell uh, example here. We want to see during a pullback scenario, a trend that's been established. But as we all know, very rarely do things go straight up or straight down. Usually in a downtrend, there's some type of bounce that takes place. The only problem is, as we showed you earlier in that example in the, uh, uh, I believe it was the spiders or the Dow, most people think once the bounce takes place, that that's the end of the downtrend. It's time to get long. But many times it's actually the beginning of getting short because during this bracket phase, the trend will often resume, but a pullback trader, rather than going short once the trend has started, is looking for a pullback sell at higher prices. So this is the beauty of a pullback trade. Pullback traders like to sell at higher prices and they like to buy at lower prices. The beauty of strategy number nine is that's what it's designed to do. Okay, so let's show you the trading process using our platform. We specifically made it simple. I designed our platform with Pro Trader Strategies to make trading simple. And you'll see just how easy it is. Now, one thing I have to mention, I cannot give you the full rules to strategy number nine. I know a lot of you are saying, boy, this is great, Steve. Uh, now, what's it based off of? What are the rules? Well, there, remember, there are only two rules. It's probably the simplest method I've ever traded. I just have to look to see if those two requirements are met and then a setup is in place, okay? Now, I can't give you all the rules. What I will tell you is one of the uh, different requirements and that is telling if you're in an overall uptrend or a downtrend and that is by applying the 50 period moving average. So if price is above the 50 period moving average, then the overall trend is up. That means we're going to be a buyer and we're looking for a sell off in the overall uptrend. Now, if price is below the 50 period, that's telling you that the overall trend is down. So what you're looking for is a little bounce, a little rally while you're below the 50 period moving average, which we call the buy sell line. And that's where you look for a selling opportunity, okay? I can't give you the remaining rule because then I've pretty much given you the entire strategy. It wouldn't be fair to the hundreds, if not thousands of people who've already purchased strategy number nine. Okay, so let's show you how simple it is while you have our platform, the PTS Primo charting platform. This is the educational platform that actually teaches you how to trade pullbacks. Once again, we're an educational company. We're simply trying to educate you so that you can increase your odds for consistency. All right. So remember that first example we shared with you in PG? Someone said, well, Steve, I've always been taught if you have a bearish engulfing pattern, that's a very negative sign. So we're in a clear cut downtrend. All right. Well, with the platform, the first thing we teach you is to find out what the overall trend is. And so you go up to the green strategy tab in the far left-hand corner. The first thing you want to do is click on our buy sell line. We named it the buy sell line because it tells you whether you should be a buyer or a seller. All right. And once you do, you'll see a drop down menu appear and just click on 50 period moving average. That's what we're going to be using for this particular strategy. And now once we have it on our screen, we say, where is price in relation to that 50 period moving average? Because this is going to tell us whether we're going to be buying or selling. So obviously we are above the 50. So I don't care if there's a bullish engulfing plan above there. I don't care if you're so overbought that every indicator is overbought. You should only be looking sell offs 
as buying opportunities. So this is not in any way something that you should be shorting. This is an actual buying opportunity. And the beauty of it is, is that if you spot a strategy number nine setup, you can check your work because we teach you the rules in the course. But then we want you to simply, rather than look at this as a selling opportunity, say to yourself, well, not, we're really not in a downtrend. I see a couple of buy signals. So you'd click on strategy number nine. The drop down uh, menu appears, click on signal arrows and you would verify your work. In fact, you're right, there were actually two buy signals here. You could have taken advantage of either one, maybe both of them if you have enough capital, and had a nice profit of nine points in three days. Now, you don't have to take a nine point profit. We have six or seven different exit levels in our course to tell you where to get out. There's six or seven different exit plans, six or seven different entry plans, and six or seven different stop placements. Remember, we're not in any way a systematic company. We're not telling you how to trade. We're sharing with you high probability setups and then you decide how you want to enter, how you want to exit, how you want to place your stop. That's why we always say no two traders will come up with the same results because it's our philosophy that no two traders should ever trade alike. In other words, someone could use one of our entry points here and get out with a one or two point profit and say, thank you, I had a nice trade there, I'm out. Someone could say, well, I'll use a different entry point and I'll try to stay in as long as I want to. So maybe they'll be in for a possible nine point profit. Whereas someone else would say, well, I want to use the most conservative entry point and it would never have reached there and they never would have entered into the trade. So you see, everyone should have different results. We want you to trade differently because this is the only way you can become consistent. That's why we don't believe in chat rooms. We don't believe in you coming here and following exactly how I trade because that would be doing you a disservice. That would be uh, making a crutch for you to think, once again, well, I have to trade the way this guy does because I'm not smart enough and I don't have enough education or experience, so I'll just rely on whatever he does. That's you know, a recipe for a disaster. But unfortunately, that's the way the entire industry is based off of. I don't want to do that with my students. We have hundreds of students, if not thousands of students around the world in over 115 countries and virtually every state in the United States, and each one of them trades differently. We want that. We encourage you to trade differently. We provide you with the same setups, but you have multitude of different ways to enter, exit, or place your stop. Now, here's the example we looked at earlier in the Dow. Okay, You could use this as a market directional indicator. Remember, someone could say, well, Steve, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six days where we closed higher. That's a very positive sign according to the $10,000 course I took. That means there's buyers. So I think we're in a clear cut uptrend. There's major support right here, Fibonacci support. So I'm gonna to look to be a buyer, right? Okay, what's the first thing we do? We don't care about what outside sources are saying, what they think the market is doing. There's no consistency in those things. Anything that you are basing your trades off of, trust me, I've probably used four decades ago and it didn't work then. So why are you using it now? What's the market telling you? The best way to find out what the overall trend is, is to click on our buy sell line in the top upper left hand corner, click on the 50 period simple moving average, and then we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to that? Obviously, price is below. So we're not going to buy anything. And someone could say, well, why aren't you buying anything? It's because the market is in an overall downtrend and the odds are in our favor that we will be more consistent if we only look at this as a selling opportunity and not a buying one. So sure, you could have been lucky and got long here and uh, held on for a week or so, but you would have had to have been quick because we actually looked at this as a pullback which generated a sell signal right here. And you would have had to got out early because in the next four days, the market went down nearly 500 points. Now, had you not protected yourself, you would have given back mostly everything that you made in that earlier week. This is why we say it's in your favor to only be in sync with the overall trend. Okay, so you have the process of how we've made it simple, how you just have to click on the buy sell line, how you've studied the rules to this method, and then you check your work by clicking on the strategy number nine tab and clicking on arrows. Now let's show you some current strategy number nine examples, both up examples and down examples. Okay, here we have an example in UPS a couple of weeks ago at the middle to end of July. We are above the 50 period. Price is selling off, but a buy signal was generated. 20 points coming into the end of July, okay? How about Acer, all right? Someone looking at this will say, Steve, I mean, clearly the market is going up. There's major support here. That course I took where we talk about the institutions and the volume, 
That says that this is going to go much higher because the institutions keep buying and we're in a clear-cut uptrend. So why would I want to sell anything? Well, you want to sell because the market, not the institution. I traded with the institutions four decades ago and they weren't any more consistent than anything else. So what was the market telling me? It's telling me it's below the 50 period. So this is a selling opportunity. We came up right next to it, okay? And two signals were generated to go short. Now, had you taken the very first one and used a tight stop, one of the seven stops we, we teach you, well, most likely you're stopped out with a small minor loss. But you have to get back on your horse because another sell signal was generated three or four days later. And with this one, you could have recouped your loss and made a lot more as you see the market fell out of bed. So what happened to all the institutions buying? What happened to the upward movement there and the uptrend? Nothing. The market was telling you wanted to go lower. What about MYGM? We're above the 50 period moving average. We have two buy signals generated on this small sell off, okay? 20 points in the next month coming into the first week in August. Now remember, we're not saying you would have made 20 points. Sure, maybe some of you had said, I want a 20 point profit and you would have taken it, but we're not saying that or guaranteeing that everyone chooses their own exit level. It's up to you. We do not tell you where to exit or where to get in or where to place your stop. We only teach you the different variables from which uh, to choose from. How about IRBT? All right, two sell signals generated were below the 50. And it took a little while for this to pan out, but ultimately it gapped down. And coming into the first week of August, you had potentially 22 points you could have captured. How about ZROZ? Okay, someone would say, Steve, we're coming straight down in this stock, but look at the cluster, four buy signals. So the market, not the institutions, not some earnings estimation, but the market is screaming that it wants to go higher. And 20 points coming into the first week in August, okay? How about DPZ? Well, this is a little bit more difficult, a little bit more advanced because we're kind of oscillating above, below, above, below. But as we see here, we had a close below the 50 and it met the final remaining requirement of strategy number nine. So we have a sell signal. It's a little bit more advanced, like I said, because it's not so cut and dry. But once you get the rules under your belt, you've uh, experimented enough and researched and paper traded, well, you potentially could have captured 35 points coming into August. Now, here's an example in PODD. This is where students have a lot of trouble because they're hanging on to the traditional wisdom that they've always used and it never really you know, helped them, but they feel they must trade it because it, everyone trades this way, so it must work, right? For example, someone looking at this would say, well, Steve, this is major, major resistance. This is Fibonacci resistance. This is major selling from the uh, big banks. So I do not want to buy this. OK, uh, that chat room I go to says that you got to sell this. And uh, until it breaks out, we're only going to be a seller in this. OK, so I'm going to look for a sell. All right. Once again, I used to trade this way myself, so I know what this is like. And it didn't work for me then. My mentors taught me the first thing I have to do is apply the 50 period moving average. So the majority of price has been above the 50. And even though we came down, we're closing above it. So the overall trend is up. I don't care what some institution or what some $10,000 class is telling you. You should only be looking at this as a buying opportunity. And this sell off was really just a pullback. So a strategy number nine buy signal was generated right here. So where everyone was selling, you took advantage of that 40 point gain in the next four days. Now, I'm not saying you would have made 40, but potentially you could have captured that if you were lucky enough to take advantage of this with one of our entry points. Now, Tesla, here's another example of the way most traders trade and how why most traders fail is because they're using outdated and things that show no levels of consistency. All right, obviously the last couple of weeks in this particular example, we were going hot. But someone could have said, well, Steve, I'm a student of candlesticks and that's a morning star. That is a very bullish pattern. So what that told me in that course I took is that that's usually a, a beginning of an uptrend. And we've been going up for the past week, so I don't want to sell anything, right? Well, what is the market telling you? Not an uptrend. It's telling you it's below the 50. Even though we closed right around there, it's not in any way telling you to go long until you had consecutive closes above. In fact, it generated a cluster of sell signals, some better than the other. Now, this one you may have been stopped out of, but these three right here, the remaining three, could have recouped that loss because Tesla went down 90 points coming into June. And if you missed that, 
Don't worry, there were more along the way. For example, in shop, once again, someone's saying, well, Steve, I mean, how can you not be a buyer of this? This thing bottomed out in early April. It's been going straight up, all right? So I've got to sell this. And uh, for all intents and purposes, that chat room I go to says that there's major overbought scenario here. All the indicators that I paid for and everything I use saying that this is well overbought. It's got to go lower. Remember what I taught you in the opening statements today. Remember, daily financial wisdom, there is no such thing as overbought, oversold. All right? You should never sell something simply because it appears to be overbought. You should never buy something because it appears to be oversold. And as you can see, what happened to the so-called overbought level there? Okay, Let's say you had sold and you're still holding on the short position. You got the puts and you go, boy, I took a major loss here. But you know what? Now I got in a little bit too early. That other chat room I go to that bases it off of the institutions and off of the big banks say that there's major, major resistance here. So I've got to sell. OK, so this is major resistance. I think we're going to come down at least down to these levels. So I'll make back the money I lost in the first trade. So you sell on this downward move here and then look what happens. OK, what happened to the resistance? OK, what's the first thing you want to do? You don't want to listen to some guy in a chat room. You don't want to listen to the institutions. You don't want to listen to overbought, oversold levels. What you want to listen to is the market. By clicking on the buy sell line and looking back in hindsight, you would have known well in advance by clicking on the 50 period moving average that price was always above the 50 period moving average. So what is that telling you? I'm not telling you. The market you're trading, SHOP, shop in this example, was telling you it wanted to go higher because the overall trend was up. So your only point of view, your only bias should be that of a buyer. You should not even consider selling anything. The odds are in your favor if you're a buyer. Now, sure, there will be sell-offs along the way. It was a little minor one. This was a little long, a short-lived one and then went right back here. Here were some short ones. But would you rather, you know, get in a couple of days and just get out and, you know, and just by the, the skin of your uh, neck say, wow, I just avoided a major loss there. I have to be quick on these things. It's a lot simpler if you click on strategy number nine and see that you could have taken advantage of this buy setup, ridden it all the way up to however high you wanted to, take advantage of two more right here, take advantage of another one here, and then two more right here. Had you still held on to the initial one, that's 175 potential points you could have captured coming into August, okay? So do you see how that simple rule is, if you're in sync with the overall trend, how that will really give you a higher level of consistency. And then once you apply strategy number nine, you can look to buy at these lower levels. All right, let's look at some different markets and time frames because I know not everyone trades stocks. Let's look at uh, a weekly chart, okay? Now, here's a weekly chart in Halliburton. We're below the 50. We have the same process going on here. A sell signal was generated, and look what happened. A real nice sell-off, okay? Now, if you missed that, you could have bought some puts right here. This was in May of this last year, coming into August. How about ROKU, all right? We've got potentially a 70-point profit coming into August this last week based off of a buy signal that was generated in April. OK, the same process applies. Doesn't matter if we're looking at weekly charts. We're above the 50. We have a little sell off taking place. It's a buying opportunity and potentially you could have captured 70 points. Some of our students may would have taken 10 points and said thank you. Others may have wanted to stay in as long as possible. It's up to you. You are in charge of how you enter, how you place your stop and how you exit. We just provide you with the tools and the knowledge and the consistency to help you get there and make that decision. All right, let's look at a 15-minute chart of the E-mini. This was on August 7th. We are above the 50-period moving average on this 15-minute time frame, and we have a cluster of buy signals, okay? Now, where someone would say, well, Steve, the market looks really scary here. Well, we went up 60 points in the next two days. That's a potential of uh, $3,000 per contract in the E-mini. Once again, not saying you would have made that, but you had 60 points to work with in just a couple of days. This was August 7th and August 8th. Same Principles apply. We're above the 50, so we look for only buy signals. How about the Australian dollar? Here's a two-hour chart of the Australian dollar going back to the beginning of August. As we can see here, same process. We're below the 50. We have a sell signal generated and 200 pips or 2,000 potential dollars per unit you could have captured taking that one trade in uh, coming into August. And there were two more right here on the 6th of August if you happen to miss that first one. 
Now let's look at commodities because we know if the market gets really bad, I know that hey, we had a downward market when I uh, you know, uh, left the market this morning, it was down roughly about 700 points. I don't know what it's doing right now. But if you're frightened about being in the markets, and if we do go into a sustained downtrend, which we aren't in right now, but if we do happen to go in that, a lot of traders like to start switching from stocks into something more tangible like commodities. Well, it makes absolutely no difference what market, what time frame you trade. The same principles can be applied to commodities as well. Now, someone here would say, well, coffee in this chart going back to June is in a clear cut downtrend. So, Steve, why would I buy anything? And we have like a nice little reversal right here and there's major support in coffee. So I want to buy this, right? Nope, because the same principles apply. We apply the buy sell line, the 50 period moving average and prices above. So this is not a downtrend. It's a pullback. That is a buying opportunity. Now you just simply wait for the requirements to be met. And as you can see, if we switch on strategy number nine, the same process applies for commodities. And we had a buy signal right here. So this is a great opportunity to go long coffee. And it went up 15 points coming into the middle portion, early in the middle portion of July. All right. So let's review what we share with you today. Strategy number nine is a fairly new strategy. It's only been uh, 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 you know, involved with the public for the last eight months, not even eight months. Now, it's designed to trade pullbacks using two simple indicators. I share with you one of them today, which is the 50 period simple moving average or what we call our buy sell line. Now, you can apply it to any market, any time frame and any direction, as I just shared with you. Because it's a pullback type of method, meaning that you want to buy at lower prices and sell or go short at higher prices, it is perfect for applying to option trading. This means you won't have to pay so much in those premiums if you're looking to buy if something is breaking out. But with all of our methods, we always require our students to first paper trade. There's so much more you can learn from this process. Think of any uh, career, any endeavor, any hobby. No one just starts out being an athlete, saying playing a baseball game without having a, a you know a, a practice first or some type of you know uh, session prior to that or even a basketball practice game. Okay, no one starts out a movie without going to rehearsals first. Trading is no different. You must practice first, and that is paper trading. Now our edge here is consistency, meaning that. It doesn't mean that every trade is a winner. It means that we're quite aware that you will have some losses from time to time. That's okay. I showed you a couple of examples where you did have a few losses. But what a consistent method is, is that it's able to recoup those losses and then get back on track. So you don't want to be trading some fly by night system that promises the world and sure it has a couple of great trades and then gives it all back. That's not consistency. Consistency is a two step forward, one step back approach. Now remember, as my mentors taught me, one should never sell a stock simply because it appears to be overbought, nor should you buy a stock because it appears to be oversold. So remember, many times you may be selling something thinking that it's going to go straight down because that candlestick pattern uh, generated a, re a reversal, when in all actuality, it's a buying opportunity because you are in a pullback phase. The way you can find out is by listening to the market as opposed to listening to some guy in a chat room, listening to some support and resistance level, listening to some uh, you know, uh, institutional report. Listen to the market and you'll know whether you're in an overall uptrend or an overall downtrend. Okay, we have a special offer for all the attendees today for taking time out of your Wednesday. We're going to give you a great discount, a great offer on our strategy number nine new course with along with the PTS Primo Charting Platform. We're going to give you detailed video course instruction, okay? We're going to give you all the different entries, all the different exits, and all the different stop placements, okay? You're going to get the complete rules to this course. You're going to get everything so you'll know exactly how to apply it and what makes you feel the most comfortable. But what is the most, I think, the best part about this special we're offering today is that you're going to get one year of the PTS Primo Charting Platform. That's a $1,700 value. And you're going to get that totally free. This is the educational platform that also scans for pullback and for pullback strategy number nine signal. So that's one of the beautiful things about our platform. If you're not able to be in front of your chart 24 seven, you can actually scan for signals. Let me show you how simple it is to apply our scanner. You would simply click on strategy number nine. Once again, the drop down menu and click on scan and you'll see this window appear. Then you'll 
click on load symbols. We provide you with symbol lists from the uh, ETF symbols, currency pairs, stocks, futures, uh, NASDAQ, uh, even the uh, Canadian exchanges, the DAX exchange, whatever you want. And you can uh, click on for the, the symbol list to appear. In about 30 seconds, you'll see that. Then you just click on scan right here. And in another 30 seconds, you see a series of green and red bars. The green bars mean there's a buy signal in the corresponding stock. The red bars mean there's a sell signal. Now, a lot of students say, well, Steve, can I scan for things? Uh, a lot of times a news event will get in the way. Well, let me share with you what Yahoo Finance reported on the 8th of August. This was just last Thursday, I believe, not even a week ago, okay? ROKU skyrockets to record high after shattering Wall Street forecasts. Okay, on August 8th, shares of the streaming platform soared as much as 22% to a record intraday high of 123.16 on Thursday after the company recorded second quarter earnings that smashed Wall Street forecasts. The company's previous all-time intraday high was 113.44. So if we look at the chart on August 8th, we see that's where the news came out. Now, this is where a lot of students base their trades off of, okay? Now that's, we're not telling you that that's wrong. We're just saying that news is not required because if you learn how to listen to the market, many times, I found out in my experience, the market tells you in advance what it wants to do prior to a news announcement. For example, had you scanned that week before in Roku, RKU, you would have seen that a buy signal was generated three days before that news event to go along all the way down here. And as you can see, the stock continued to go up. In fact, in the, in the next five days, it went up 34 points. So sure, you would have had a nice trade here if you bought off that news for a couple of days, but you would have had a, nice, a nicer profit had you entered off of our signal here, the strategy number nine signal that was generated, and it was generated three days prior to the news, okay? Now, let me show you something even more current that happened just a few days ago. This was a sell signal generated last week in Uber, okay? Now, once again, someone could say, well, Steve, we have a really nice gap up move here, probably off some earnings announcement or some news. I can't go short this. Well, once again, where is price in relation to the 50 period moving average? Even though you had a nice upward day there, price is still below. So this is a valid sell signal generated by strategy number nine, okay? This was just last Thursday, just about three or four days ago. You could have decided to go short, and last time I checked, the stock was down seven points in the next four days. I think it actually may be even down more than that now, okay? So you could have purchased puts. You could have, uh, another good thing about this is a lot of people will use strategy number nine to get out of a stock. Let's say you're in a loser and you don't know how to get out. Well, you don't want to just sell at the market because you feel you may be selling at the low. So what a lot of our students do is wait for a strategy number nine sell signal, and that's their point to exit and they feel at least they're exiting at a little higher price than simply selling at the market, okay? This is a great, great strategy to have, a great method to have in your pocket for trading, okay? Trust me, 2019 is more than half over. We're into the eighth, we're gonna be starting the ninth month in just a few weeks. A year from today, you will have wished you became a member of this course. Why not take advantage of a great offer we have for all of you, okay? All right, this is our new super new strategy special for strategy number nine. We're going to be offering you one year of the method, of I should say, of the platform, along with ownership of the method. Now, normally, one year of the platform, along with strategy number nine, would cost you over $4,700. And don't worry, we're not going to charge you anywhere near that. We're going to cut that price. We're going to offer you a discounted price of $29.95. Remember, that includes one year of the platform. That's a $1,740 value for free. And you also can take advantage of payment plans as well. So if you, have, if you still don't have $29.95 available, don't worry. You can contact ProTrader Strategies. They will construct a payment plan. So for a small deposit, you can still be up and running as early as today and establish a payment plan with them, okay? Here's how to take advantage of this great offer. Once again, I would suggest contacting ProTrader Strategies. They're in charge of all the tech support for the platform. They're also in charge of all the discounts and pricing of all my courses they would be more than happy to work with you and set up some type of a payment plan. You can call them directly. They have trading consultants manning the phones right now at area code 310-598-6677. Now that link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to the informational page on the uh, strategy number nine course, as well as you can sign up there if you'd like, but it's not a live link. So we've posted a live link in your chat box on the far 
right hand corner of the go to uh, webinar column. So you can click that on and it will automatically take you to that setup. Okay. Now, as I promised, we reserve the uh, remaining portion of our time left for any questions. So if you have any questions, simply go into your question and answer box and type them up and I would be happy to answer them. Uh, let's see, uh, question, Steve, does this work on intraday trading? Yes, it does. I, I believe I showed you an intraday example for the E-minis uh, on a 15 minute time frame. Also, it, I believe there was a two hour chart of the uh, uh, Australian dollar. Now, even though that's not uh, you know, really categorized as intraday, it's a different time frame. You can also trade it on weekly, even monthly bars if you're a long-term investor. But if you're, let's say you're a stock trader and you like to trade intraday, let's say you'd like to trade IBM on a 10 minute chart, sure, you'll see these setups and the same process applies. That's the, another question. Someone is saying, can I use this uh, uh, intraday for uh, trading with the platform? Yeah, I mean, you'll see the same setups. Nothing changes because you change time frames or because you change markets. In other words, I know a lot of strategies out there say, well, here's the way you apply it for currency pairs. But if you're trading this for futures on a 15 minute time frame, you have to use a couple of different rules here. We never do that as specialist trading and pro trader strategies because if it works on one time frame on one market, it should be applied to all time frames and all markets. So don't worry if you are trading a different market that you didn't see me uh, give examples today, let's say something like Bitcoin or let's say a different time frame. Trust me, it can be applied to all markets and all time frames. I use this on uh, tick charts for the e-mini futures, okay? So it makes absolutely no difference at all. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, someone's asking about options. Yes, now we don't have an option course. We don't tell you what option to buy because remember, we're just an educational uh, 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 company. Uh, our job is simply to teach you how to spot these high probability setups. How you want to apply them is strictly up to you. So if you want to apply and buy calls or buy puts or buy some type of a spread, uh, you have to come in with that knowledge already, okay? So we don't go into detail telling you what call to buy or what spread to trade. Uh, that's not our, uh, that's not our, our uh, goal here. Uh, now we do have uh, option courses and we do have different things of that nature uh, at Pro Trader Strategies. I would contact them if you want more information about trading options. But in this particular course, we don't teach you which option spread to buy. And because remember, that would be, in my opinion, doing you a disservice. We're not telling you how to trade. We're just teaching you how to spot and identify these high probability setups then we give you the freedom to trade however you'd like, all right? If you want to buy or sell the stock, if you want to purchase options, if you want to trade it intraday, if you want to trade currency pairs, it's entirely up to you. In my 42 years of trading, this is the only way I've learned how someone can become a consistent trader. Unfortunately, our entire industry is based on the opposite, based on you buying some $10,000 method where all you have to do is automatically buy or sell whatever the, the up and down arrows spit out and you have no idea why, but you just do it. Or by you subscribing to some signal service or some chat room and they tell you what to buy or sell. Or you listen with bated breath to every earnings announcement and, and buy whatever the earnings are supposed to be. Or you, you know, watch on TV the uh, so-called trading gurus and buy or sell what they say. Every one of those different styles was based off of taking you out of the decision making process. Here's what separates us from those. We do not want to take you out of the uh, decision-making process. In fact, we encourage you to make your own decisions. This is how you become a consistent trader. Now, if you still don't believe that, ask yourself, if you've been going to that chat room, if you've been trading that system that generates the signals for you, how is it working, okay? Most likely, you're not getting the results you want. If you teach yourself how to trade with consistency and put yourself in the driver's seat, I really think you'll be more satisfied with your results after you've learned how to identify these setups, okay? That's the goal we have at Specialist Trading Pro Trader Strategies, and that's the service we provide, okay? As we conclude, remember, once again, if you have any questions concerning the price or if you really are excited about this but you can't afford it and you want to set up a, a uh, payment plan, Contact Pro Trader Strategies. There's absolutely no obligation. They have uh, representatives manning the phones. They'd be happy to work with you or answer any question with absolutely no obligation. And they're there waiting for you to give them a call right now. As we conclude, I just want to say thank you so much for attending today. I wish you the best of luck in trading. I hope you learned something today. But more importantly, I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine in the Strategy Number 9 course. Thank you so much for attending. I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.